Look, I swap tires all the time. In fact, the frequency at which I swap them is probably ridiculous, but I feel like I'm always in search of the perfect tire. Last year alone, between the Tarmac, the Athos, the Melee, and the Crux, I rode a set of Goodyear, Specialized, Panaracer, Pirelli, and Continental tires. A couple of them were fantastic, a couple of them were duds. Today I wanna to run through my favorite tires of last year and the tires that I'm looking forward to riding this year. As always, I try to treat these videos as if we were on a group ride and you said, hey Chris, what do you think of these particular road tires? And I'd share my opinion in a casual setting. This isn't a sponsored video, I'm a pretty normal dude, ride around 7,500 miles a year, hold down a normal nine to five job and I don't get paid to ride a bike, but man, I love to smash the pedals with friends in between work, life and family obligations. I should add that I'm probably neurotic about tires because I really hate getting flats and I really think that a good tire enhances the overall performance and experience of riding a bike. I think a couple extra dollars spent goes a long way when it comes to tires. And look, we've all ridden tires until the threads were popping out and at that point we've all realized what it costs to have an Uber XL pick you up and bring you back home or make that call to your wife to have her come and get you. I just try to avoid that in general. When I first set up the Melee this year, I outfitted the NV45s with a set of the Eagle F1 tubeless tires, and I found them to be a pretty good all-around tire. They're a little bit heavier, they have decent puncture resistance, and the rolling resistance is not fantastic, but it's also not terrible. And I think if you're looking for a good general all-around tire, I think the Eagle F1 is a pretty safe if you like the Eagle F1, but you want something that's a little bit faster, you may consider its sibling tire, the Eagle F1 Super Sport. You gain a little bit of speed in exchange for a little bit of puncture protection, but I think it makes for a really well-rounded, fast tire. I rode these on the Tarmac as well as the Athos, and I really grew to like them. Over the couple thousand miles that I put on them, I had one flat, which I easily plugged and got another 500 miles or so out of the tire. This is a tire that I recommend to friends very, very often, especially those who have ridden a lot of the fast high-end tires and wanna try something different. Before I get into my two favorite tires, I wanna give two honorable mentions. The first is the Pirelli Race TLR tire. I had these in 28 millimeter and I really, really liked them. I felt like they were a solid, well-rounded tubeless tire with good puncture resistance and decent rolling resistance. The second tire that I believe deserves an honorable mention is the Specialized Turbo T2, T5, whatever they call it, tire. I had these in 30 millimeter and I really, really liked them. In fact, they were on pace to be one of my favorite tires of all time, but they wouldn't hold air. I tried a bunch of stuff, the shop tried a bunch of stuff, and we just couldn't get them to hold air, so we eventually just scrapped them and moved on. And we moved on to what I think is one of the best tires that I've ever ridden and was a big surprise to me, and this was the Pirelli Race TLR SL. This tire I would put right up there with my favorite tire of all time. The rolling resistance was really low and I felt like the puncture protection was decent enough. It was super fast, it handled really well, the grip was fantastic. I thought this was a really, really great tire. And again, it's another one that I recommend to all of my friends. If you've seen any of my other videos about my road bikes, my favorite tire should come as no surprise. It's the Continental Grand Prix 5000 tubeless tire. Used to be called the TL, now it's called the STR. I put tens of thousands of miles on these tires over the last four years, and they've been literally flawless. In my opinion, they're the perfect balance between puncture protection and low rolling resistance, and they have fantastic grip. I love the shape of them, I love the way they roll. They're just an excellent, excellent tire. I would say that probably my all-time favorite tire is the TL version. I think the STR version is good, but it doesn't quite feel as supple as the old TL version. If you're interested in these tires, I'll post links down below. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go hop on the Crux and go for a little lunch ride. Until next time.